Since 2006, honeybees have undergone dramatic declines. Beekeepers in North America and Europe have lost about a third of their managed colonies, and no one knows exactly why. But biologists at UC San Diego have identified one possible culprit for this decline, known as colony collapse disorder. They discovered that a small dose of a commonly used crop pesticide turns honeybees into picky eaters and affects their ability to recruit nestmates to good sources of food. With less food in the hive, fewer bees can survive or thrive. The scientists focused their attention on a pesticide commonly used in California on crops and in home gardens known as imida cloprid, which has been banned in some European countries for use on certain crops. Using foraging bees from the hives at the UC San Diego Biological Field Station, the researchers put individual bees into vials and fed them with either a small, single dose of pesticide and sugar water or pure sugar water. Then they individually harnessed the bees so only their heads could move, and then they tested the bees' preference to an ascending range of concentrations of sugar water from 0 to 50% by touching the antennae of each bee to see if it extended its mouth parts. A bee will stick out its mouth parts if it decides to feed. The researchers found that bees treated with the pesticide preferred to feed only on the sweetest concentrations of sugar water and refused nectars of lower sweetness that it would have provided food for their colony. In other words, they became picky eaters. The scientists also found that the bees treated with pesticides were less active in communicating the food sources to nestmates and in some cases stopped communicating altogether. Here is a honeybee communicating the location of its food source to its nestmates with a waggle dance. The UC San Diego biologists said their findings not only identify a potential culprit in colony collapse disorder, but have important implications for how pesticides are applied and used in bee pollinated crops. For more on this study and other news in the biological sciences, go to biology.ucsd.edu.